guys today we're gonna do a reaction to episode two of no three of gossip girl the new one and yeah we're gonna talk discuss react i'm still getting used to how to do these i don't really i'm not fully used to them but also occasionally because i'm doing this on my macbook pro it will just like if the, it goes out of sync or if there's any technical difficulties i am already sorry because like it's been doing that i've been trying to test these type of videos out and they don't do like my computer does not like them so i like doing them but my computer new episodes there's i wish they would say what time they drop and i could get more on a schedule for filming these but so do you see this the skyline so pretty uh i wish i hope they put more new york city b-roll in the new gossip girl because i really like even though i'm from new york i just like seeing it it's it's like an homage to my city so morning followers gossip girl here okay so yeah they're just saying the part that they're reading okay a lot i'm like wait what <laughs> that's exciting i mean we didn't go anywhere in the first gossip girl until like season three and they went to france right so wait the bonus jonas are we gonna get frankie in this oh my god let's see it's jonas all you could talk about was how pc told him he was cuter than joe and kevin combined spies tell us uh i feel like th this gossip girl i will say is way more up on like what's going on in the world in a way because uh do we remember the whole tiktok debacle of uh <sighs> the little bonus jonas the drama that happened because uh i do i was all up in that drama i, I i'm a messy bitch i like looking for it Definitely. my question is more it feels like this episode is a lot more propelled in time like it feels like we took like a break for three weeks and now we're back type of thing so is it like okay we're only talking about things when it's relevant you know what i mean has time we're ha passed more they look really cute you just have to date them that seems so like influencer millie bobby brown is pre-sexual millie bobby brown is in the news right now for uh getting groomed so ah i mean no one could have predicted that was gonna happen but like the fact that that boy admitted like literally said it's crazy. Life is crazy. Life is just, uh. I wish, I hope we get more Audrey. Because I actually really like Audrey. Like, after the talking episode, I'm starting to like Audrey. So hopefully, we get, like, deeper story. Let me tell you something. Do you swear on your love you enough to tell anyone? Did you kill someone? Of course. My name's Dr. Max. May have or did. I, I thought that she wasn't going to tell anyone. This was going to be this big secret. But the fact that they just revealed it so e easily, I didn't expect him. I love him. I mean, I think that you can be in love with someone and, like, be sexually attracted to other people. That's a story for another day. Because I know, like... I don't know. Will they all want me to talk about that? Because I know I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. I enjoy that like she actually feels guilt about it because I know like Blair wouldn't have felt guilt about it. You know, like Blair or Serena, they just wouldn't. <laughs> but the fact, the messy part is like Max is playing both teams, ain't he? He's definitely playing both. Oh my god. Oh my. That's gonna be messy. But I'm here for it. But then here's the thing, like him it's like really sweet and innocent and it's like oh i made out with someone else but she fucked this man dude like it's, it's okay but like if you say you believe in monogamy type of thing you know like they seem like they they've said like they're the only one you know like mm, ah, mm. i don't think the problem is being with more than one person i think the problem is not being honest they're both on the same page about it I feel like Max will kiss and tell just to cause drama. Like, he feels like he feels like the Chuck. And I feel like Chuck would use it against... But, like, he has no reason to use it against them. I don't know. But, like, it would be interesting. I don't know. Mm. My bitch has just found out. Like, I didn't just find this out, but I figured I found out. That, like, the guy who plays Max is the same guy who plays Henry Hook. Harry Hook. In, uh, Descendants and um it just it, it just it feels weird to me like it's not bad it just feels weird yeah also i just watched the episode of the twilight zone and the lady that played the teacher was in the episode of the twilight zone it's just interesting i don't know i didn't know she was acting and you know like when she saw you see someone in one thing you see them like everywhere type of sh it's mean not the new york rat better <laughs> it is uh, like that is an iconic New York meme. Ah. Uh. Do not document it. Uh, document it. 
I think sometimes, especially when you go out, you shouldn't. Like, I like leaving. Sometimes, like, I've, I, and I'm, I'm not even, like, I don't have that big of a following. But I've started to just not bring my phone places. Like, sometimes you just gotta not bring your phone. And just enjoy moments, you know? Like, which sounds crazy because it's like, you don't, I don't know. It just, sometimes you just need to walk away from your phone. Gossip girl. I'm sure. I was wondering if they're ever gonna mention it. Like, like, because, like. It's pro- it's a big thing, you know? Like, ugh. Also, I understand, like, this is a rich school, but it's definitely not the same school that they used in the first Gossip Girl. I was, like, wondering that for, like, the first, like, maybe, like, episode two, but, like, it's definitely not the same school. This is a nicer school, though. To us as well. With apologies. Well, no, to, like, to the really, really hot guy, right? I don't remember what the teacher's name is. The hot teacher, right? Isn't he scared that Gossip Girl's gonna get him? Or, like, does he know that the teacher... Does, was he one? I swear to God, he was in the room when, like, they were, like, discussing possibly doing Gossip Girl. Source of our stress. Oh, my God. That could... Oh, my God. That could be so bad. Oh, my God. I hope it... I, uh, okay, I hope the episode's, like, gearing up. Because, like, the first, like, ten minutes so far, I mean, like, mm, don't like it as much as the second episode. But, like, drama. Add the drama in. Come on, do it. Give it to me, mamas. By this time next week, Gossip girl must be exposed and expelled. Oh my God. Oh. He's at Italy today. I was of this. Do rich people go to Italy? Because I feel like Italy is like middle class. I feel like it is like upper middle class, but middle class. You like? It's uh, me whenever I <laughs> me whenever I come home looking different because I'm like I'm I'm the queen of like wanting to change my hair, doing with different styles. I get it. Why am I doing this? I'm so annoyed. Okay, I feel like something's about that. I think like the parents are gonna get divorced or something's gonna happen. Like it just feels like odd dynamic between like Max's parents feel weird. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's best not to wear that tomorrow night. Why? Yes. My question is right. How famous are these people? Like. Are they, like, the James Earl? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to know. I want to know more. I want to know more about how famous... I mean, this obviously, he was acts like Fashion Week, so her sister is pretty, like, internet famous. But it's a, like, universally most people, but, like, household name famous. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want to know more, because why are they bullying her so fucking hard? It doesn't seem to make sense. Um, are you enjoying it enough to consider, like, someone or, or I mean, it's also just weird that he's dating his his ex-girlfriend's little sister half sister but little sister you know like yeah. her hair is pretty i also like <laughs> uh mm, they're both really attractive actors but i feel like they like are pushing it on us like they're having se- like they're the couple that constantly has sex or does sexual things like this is like the third episode of that but also i think like so she was saying that Max was like the best sex she's ever had. They're like sixteen. It's probably the only sex she's ever had, except for like Aki. So like it makes sense. It's just they don't know how to express how they feel and like what they want. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I oh drugs. So I thought that this was gonna be a thing in this episode, and like. I know that the big thing that people are like, teens do drugs. Um, I don't think I did a, like, I was very anti-drug. In I think most people that, if they do experiment with things like that, they don't do it in their, I mean, some people probably do. But, like, I feel like it's unrealistic to be like, all teens do this. It's like, no, a lot of them are, like, in college or, like, do it to spice up their life once they're in the workforce. It sounds dumb, but, like, it's, yeah, like. Maybe I'll do a talk. Maybe we'll talk about that. Like, maybe I'll talk candidly about drugs one day on this channel. I don't know. But I don't know. I just don't think it's realistic to be like, I mean, yes, certain people do. Like, I think like, like in the euphoria way, like I know it happens, right? But they make it seem like it happens every day, all the time, nonstop. And that's not fucking true at all. Like, for example, everyone I know who's done drugs have done drugs as an adult, not as a child so it's just just weird like i don't know and again it's on hbo i get it but it's like it's a teen show marketed towards adults it's kind of weird i'm allowed to feel that way (laughs) i think more so my problem is that i think he's recording it and that also makes me feel really uncomfortable so oh that does not seem good and i understand yes that they're putting it back in but sometimes i wonder like would a show like this benefit from them being in their 20s like early 20s into college i know like so, so i saw someone somewhere say like uh i forgot her name oh my god but the like the 
like the mean girl with the like that she's like lesbian and i was just but like the kid at my little lgbtq heart oh my god okay anyway here's here's the thing maybe it's because i'm being i'm being kind of critical of this episode but i'm in new york i never like until my 20s i've never been in jersey well no i have i have some of my family lived in jersey but this is like paramus i don't know what the fuck paramus is i don't think that like rich people will know like rich people who live in new york city their whole life would know like a mall in new jersey i'm, I'm just saying anyway that sounds so mean and like critical but i'm just saying might as well get in with the new world order i mean it's important to experiment that's what i'm saying like you can't just i mean they're teenagers but if they were adults like i mean the characters are teenagers you do you should ow maybe they just don't work they're just fine (sighs) something that someone else said too is that they use the the use of tinder in the show and like dating apps when they're under 18 oh my god my dad no my dad wait what oh my god oh Oh my god. I mean, you could lie, but I just. Mm. I was wondering if he knew. And that's why he's not, like, <laughs> trying to be with Max. I feel like he would have hooked up with Max if that wasn't the case. I mean, messy, messy, but you know. I don't think it's too. Because I went, like I said, I've said this in the last episode. I'm saying it this episode. I am from New York City and I grew up in New York City and I went to high school in New York City. They didn't even let us bring in our phones. <laughs> so. I mean, I mean, I guess it's because they're rich and they can't like control them as much. But <laughs> I agree. I agree. Cause he doesn't give a fuck about this relationship. It's not his relationship. Why do they look like where did sin? What is it? What's that show called? Where did Cameron San Diego go? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like a, like you know like those like teen movies when they have like the <laughs> um when they have like those montages. What's really? Like. PDA MTA or where am I supposed to eat? Par- MTA. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I can never be rich. I'm too my I'm mentally too poor. I'm kidding, but like sometimes. Private with the blinds drawn and whatever you do, never trust the doorman. They sell tips to TMZ. No way. Jimmy's been in the building since the seventies. My grandfather's been there. They're doing the whole like Monica on Friends thing <laughs> with the rent control apartment because uh, that's I mean at least that like it's, it's a little bit better than like Dan Humphrey's loft. It is like a million dollars. What is it gonna do? I as you as Rafa on his profile and get chatty. You as well fuck with him. I'm pretty sure that's illegal somehow. So I know he got the pro version, right? But how did they match so quickly? I mean, I've used a Tinder before. I've used, like, gay apps before. Like, why am I saying it, like, so shy? I've used gay apps before. Like, that, it's not that quick. I don't care how fucking close you are i don't think it's that quick i mean actually no i actually matched one of my friends before but like still because we were right next to each other not like two miles away you remind me is she saw, was she on you thought it advisable not to ruffle any feathers tonight although to be honest i would rather be working. i feel like and i don't i don't know how like maybe diversity points and like me thinking about this but why do i feel like one of the dads wants to potentially do drag or be trans and the other dad isn't really okay with it and that's why he's cheating or potentially looking for another mate mate why did i use mate? i've never used the word mate before but like looking for another person I don't know. also this we're like an hour in guys they're in the east village you know like I've, i feel like they're definitely sponsored by instagram and lyft Yeah, that's definitely Beck from you. That definitely is. There's no way that's not. 
I, I assume she's a New York based actress. Act actress? Why did I say that word? Here. She's so cute. I wouldn't accept a gift from a student. You can thank him yourself. I'll introduce you after the show. Uh, why do I feel like they're doing like a parent trap thing? And I don't, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. I don't know if real people would scheme like this. What are you guys doing? Nothing. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's okay to be gay. Like, I think, I, I assume that he's like pan or bi but maybe he's gay maybe and that's fine it's okay roy sacks honey i think roy sacks i thought he she was okay with them now and like uh and didn't she say just oh my god like just i i just feel like oh my god i have opinions about this episode now to talk about it at the end but unhallowed slave i have absolutely no clue what they're gonna fucking do i don't know this play gives me anxiety. Anxiety. I don't know. I, I feel like I don't know. Because, like, I know the writers and stuff. A lot of them are white, dentists, and male. So I'm like, please, please don't do something stupid that's, like, irritable. So someone... I heard someone say that they're probably going to get fired. Like, that was, like, a theory. I wonder if that's actually going to happen. Play like Aaron is exactly what Broadway needs after a year on pause. What it doesn't is another revisal of anything. Especially one devised by white people about white people. My problem with this is I assume, like, I'm, I might be wrong. There might be, like, showrunners that, the showrunners and some people who wrote the script that are people of color. But it just feels like at some point, like, oh, we don't need this, like, mm -mm. White people, like, yeah, like, it's cool when, like, to hear it, I guess, but it also just feels weird, because you know it's coming from a, like, most likely coming from a white person, it just feels, it feels like fake activists, I don't know, like, do you get what I'm saying? It's giving very much, like, creep show art, you know, if you guys know. Wait, what's gonna happen? What's going on? I'm sick of it! This episode, it just, like, it feels so out of place. <laughs> Yeah, he's got an active profile that says newly single and he's been messaging guys with the intention of cheating. This guy in particular. Oh, Max, Max, that's enough. Stop, stop. Did Max stop that? You did this with Max's teacher? Yes, I did, but not I with me. No, it, I mean not with you. I think your son can explain. What, what does he have to do with this? He deserves to know the truth. Did you pretend to not mean, but is it true? Is it true? Nothing happened. I mean, ah, <laughs> no. Okay. I understand this. this is, these are arguments I think people have, even if you're not gay or anything. Like you do have like these arguments a lot. Oh, I feel for I feel for this. I know like it started off like with bad. I feel for this. Oh no. But you like a mask. This is grown up business, and I don't think that he should have had to be in it. To be honest, but I get I get it. I I get it. Even though as someone who never had a father, much less two fathers, but no, I get it. Oh. I get both sides. Like I understand it. I mean, I get it, but. I also like that, like, he's not, like, Max on, like, Chuck isn't afraid to, like, show feelings every now and again, which... She got lost behind you. Yeah, I see the one. But my, my whole thing, right, is how... Is he this, like, really famous guy he's supposed to be? I feel like they didn't set that up very well. Like, I know, like, his... He's, like... Is he, like, the Trump of this, like, universe? You know what I mean? Like, I wish that they would set it up better, because I'm very confused. <laughs> Again, I don't understand why they need 16-year-olds to be doing coke. Like, I just, I just don't. Um, Like, I think it's more realistic because I knew people in high school did, like, weed. But, like, coke, coke, I mean, coke is a white person's drug. Like, I'm not even lying, but, like, no, I don't know. Ugh, jeez. Other candidates. On your phone, what is this? He's lying, it's his phone. It's just really fucked up. You what the what the i didn't think they're gonna do that in this episode hmm ha Ooh. the doorman can't be trusted he like clickety click oh no you look like oh my god i just want to hug him little man. like i don't like the guy who plays my oh no, he looks so sad. But you can't fix your parents. You know, my dad would realize they're being stupid and just talk. Oh. <laughs> Why do I feel like by the end of the season, him and the teacher and Max are gonna get together and like have like one of those teacher love affairs, very Arya and Ezra, you know? Did you like it? 
Oh, they're gonna break up. It's they're definitely gonna break up. I feel bad. Or like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna... I still want. I'm still thinking Thrupple, but I don't think Max would be up for that. He was. Li she's lying. Okay, I was gonna say she's lying. I feel like it's gonna be like, oh, it's e like it's easy coming to go. Like they're gonna like, like stay together for now. Like you know, like the whole Nate staying with Blair thing. Like. But Uh, like pin Zoya, 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 and uh, <sighs> Julian to get like against each other, which I, I feel like will be interesting. I feel like the thing is like, I think because these episodes are longer, it feels a lot different. I don't know, but also like this episode definitely, definitely felt out of place like it was this script was written before covid or something because it just didn't feel like it fit the rest of the show like i don't know if they filmed this like it was pre-filmed and like still like used it or they like and they scrapped the first two episodes and they're like putting it into different places or alternatively like did they like i don't know like i just i don't know how i like it just doesn't like this episode really didn't fit the vibe of the other two but i guess we'll see we're still three episodes in and I don't know. Like, I feel wish-washy about it because, like, I liked it. Like, the first episode, I really liked it. I mean, I kind of liked the first episode. I really liked the second episode. And the third episode, I'm like, meh. Because there's a lot of moments where I felt kind of bored. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know what how to feel. But, yes. Also, it is. this is the last week that I will be 25. I'm turning 26 next week, August 1st. So, yeah. Uh, last video. Oh, this last Gossip Girl video. As a 25 year old, you know. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. I might pop in because I don't know. Even though it's a long video, I don't really know what I said. So.